Drictus Duplessis just shocked a lot of people at UFC 290. An incredible performance against Robert Whitaker of all people. Got that second round KO. Looks super impressive in that matchup. Had the performance of a lifetime. Couldn't get any better from him. Not only did he KO Robert Whitaker in the second round, but he won the only round that was accounted for by the judges. So that kind of tells you what kind of performance he went on. Obviously, it's a competitive at, at moments, but I'll, I'll go through the recap um, later on in the video. But weirdly enough, and I don't want to do one of these things, but I had this weird gut feeling that Drickus was going to win. But in my mind, I'm like, there's no way I can pick like Drickus. Like I just came off from picking Aldana to pick, pick uh, Nunez. I, I can't pick Drickus to beat Robert Whitaker, but I had this weird feeling going into this fight, and now if you don't believe me, it's easier, easier to say after, but if you don't believe me, in my full card prediction video, I actually said that like I have a weird feeling about this matchup. Robert Whitaker doesn't have the best of chins. He got dropped by Adesanya with like a jab in their, in their second fight, and weirdly enough, he gets brutally dropped by Drigas Duplessis by a jab in this one, and basically just ends the fight for him. Like it, it, Whitaker's chin is so iffy. Like He's a really good fighter, but man... Man, did, did Drickus have a, an all-star performance? An all-star. Had a, a very impressive performance tonight. Like, I'm, I'm super happy for him. He's one of my favorite guys in the middleweight division, for sure. I think the fact that he is such a weird fighter and that he he gets these wins and just out-toughs these guys and just, like, kind of just breaks people in there with just his weird style, just his constant cardio and just constant going forward, I thought it was super entertaining uh, since the beginning when he started fighting. So I'm really happy that he's in this position. I think... Although a lot of people like Whitaker personally, I think I wanted to see a little bit more fresh matchups. Now, Whitaker, I well, n now that Drick is pretty much just beat up Whitaker, it's a little bit more of an interesting fight. Like in retrospect, this was a perfect matchup to make. I know a lot of people, including myself, didn't really like this matchup because like we have we need new contenders, you know. Like oh, we should be giving this to to Whitaker, but man, that fight just got way more interesting. But getting into the recap of this matchup going in there i saw drick is walk out I'm like man he's on it huh <laughs> like I, I saw him he's all hyped up like he he looked mentally he looked perfect he's like i can tell in his brain that he had no doubts that he thinks he's gonna win this one whitaker calm like he normally is walking out there and then this first round it does start a little bit slower whitaker kind of circling around doing what he does they both kind of exchange leg kicks and then there's a certain point about halfway through that round where i saw Drickus throw like a one two and it was like it was super fast and super powerful and it like barely missed by by Whitaker and you can see them both acknowledge it and I'm like oh if if Drickus hits on that like he could hurt Whitaker very badly and Whitaker starts landing some really good shots but eventually like they they, they trade a little bit more so it's it's not like Whitaker is super ahead on damage but towards the end of that round Drickus ends up getting a takedown like a wizard. He just trips over Whitaker, gets on top of him, and I believe just elbows him and punches him and gets a big giant cut on Whitaker's face and ends up winning that round. Like, it was, just seeing that was like, whoa. Like, even Drickus normally kind of starts out a little bit slower in his fights, but that was super impressive. In the second round, Whitaker goes out there on a mission. I'm like, oh, shit. Because <laughs> even though Drickus did get his nose fixed, like, he's still breathing out of his mouth. Like, I, I can't unsee that. Like, it's not as bad as it was, but... I guess he does have a little bit more chaotic fights. He's a little bit more, I don't want to say cautious, but he was a little bit m more honed in on when he was going to strike and it wasn't too wild on the feet against Whitaker, which I really liked. He was, you can tell he really prepared for this matchup. But opening up, Whitaker just did what he does, like looks for counter shots, so does the one, two, and then kick, uh, uses his jab quite a bit. Was doing that against Drickus early on in that fight. I was like, oh, Drickus, dude. And he, you can see him get it tire out a little bit. Like, not that he's like cardio wise really badly but you can you can see like his mouth open up a little bit you, you can see he's starting to wear on the fight but then drick is just lands this like i think he lands a couple good shots on him and then just lands this jab on whitaker and the way they had the camera like what, what the hell just happened like he, he hit whitaker whitaker went down got up and was like stumbling all over the place and they zoomed in on him i'm like <laughs> and this kind of happened with uh what, what was it with bo nickel and val woodburn Bo Nickel hit him like 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 a right hook, went back, and then just had to like run forward and land some good shots. Same thing kind of happened with uh, Drickus here. He landed a jab on Whitaker, went back because he he was inside and he thought Whitaker was gonna counter. He like completely covered his face and then like went away. But Whitaker was so hurt, and 
Whitaker tried to get away, but Drakus was just like hunting him down. Like you could tell he really wanted it. And he just landed some really good shots. Landed a really good body shot that got the attention of Whitaker as he was closing out. Because he's obviously hurt. He doesn't, my guess is he probably doesn't know where he's at. And he just pounds away on him. And Drakus wins the fight. Like, oh man, I, I really wanted to pick him. And honestly, this is like, I don't know. I'm really excited for this matchup against Izzy now. I don't know if this matchup does happen in Sydney, Australia. I think after in the post-fight press conference, I believe Drick has said that he's going to focus on, like, celebrating and honoring, like, the legend of Robert Whittaker. Like, something weird like that. So I don't know if this fight necessarily happens at Sydney because it is a nine, nine weeks away. Maybe they put in Strickland because, honestly, I, I think Dana said that Strickland also deserves it. So... We could get a Strickland matchup and a Drickus matchup at this point, and that would be really fun because you kind of take Whitaker out the picture. And then if you can get Strickland in there so you don't have to worry about Cannoneer hopping in because Cannoneer already has a matchup. And then you can kind of save Drickus and maybe make a South Africa card next year for for that matchup, and I think that would be perfect. Maybe you do UFC Africa, save that, because there are some open spots for next year. And I, I, Izzy does like to be active, so... You can hold Izzy in September and then wait him till the end of the year, unless he wants to fight on the December card, but that's kind of a quicker turnaround. Maybe not, though, because you got September. I don't think it might be a little bit later in September, but that is like a four- or five-month turnaround. So if he doesn't take too much damage against Strickland, if they do decide to make that matchup and not go with Drickus, you can have another fight by the end of the year on that December card. I don't know if they want to go under Conor McGregor. If if Conor McGregor versus Chandler doesn't happen, maybe they look at that fight. And then maybe you put like a, a Yuri and Jamal Hill at some point, or you put Yuri, Jamal Hill on the MSG card. I don't know what they're going to do. Very interesting situation here, but Drickus looked incredible. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't, him against Izzy, like he's got the grappling. We saw that in the Whitaker fight for sure. He did get off his back. Did, did good on top of Whitaker, landed some good shots, took him down. I, but I believe they did grapple before, I think, when Izzy was a little bit younger. Apparently, Drick has got the best of Izzy in the grappling. They didn't do any stand-up from what Drick has said. He, he said he doesn't remember doing any stand-up with Izzy, which Izzy said that he's, like, schooled him in the stand-up. So we don't know if Izzy's lying there, but I don't know, man. Just the style of Drick is with his fights, I think, does make it very interesting with Adesanya because I'm telling you right now, Adesanya has really good leg kicks, so he could really mess up the legs of Drickus. But the way Drickus fights, where he just comes forward, if he's able to back up Izzy and kind of control that distance a little bit more, because Izzy's just going to fire off drabs, like move around a little bit more, and then leg kick. If, if he goes back to his normal stuff, he's even doing that kind of against Pereira, but maybe he takes a little bit more risks if he gets it like a KO win over Strickland or something. But if you back up Izzy, close off the distance, look to grapple, land some shots up top, Drickus has the power to do that. I think he has a really good shot against uh, Israel Asanya. And now you have guys, and I, I kind of talked about this before the first prayer fight. The guys that get him in the clinch, besides Vittori, because Vittori was just looking for takedowns, put him in the clinch. I think a lot of people say that Adesanya is really good in the clinch. I think if you close that distance off, land some punches in the clinch, look for takedowns, I think, especially with Drickus looking for takedowns, you can really get a good spot with that. Drickus can probably get uh, take the back of Adesanya at some point and land some good shots. So Whitaker did that. I think Vittori did that at one point with Adesanya also. So I think this one could be really be an interesting matchup. We'll see what they do here. I can see them doing Strickland first and then waiting either till early next year, 2024, for the Drickus Duplessis and Adesanya fight, or they do it towards the end of the year if they can't get Chandler and McGregor for the December card. But again, impressive performance for Drickus Duplessis. I'm really happy when he won that fight. I mean, I, I was like celebrating around my house. So uh, good win for him. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the potential matchup of Adesanya versus Drickus Duplessis after that performance. Who do you guys have winning that? And who do you guys have for the next opponent for Adesanya at Sydney? I think. I really do think they might actually do Strickland, but I'm not sure because I think they want to give some time for Duplessis and you can have kind of Adesanya hype that up a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. It's going to be a really important fight and it's going to be a really fun fight. The back half of this year is going to be incredible. I can already see it. Like, Although the next two fight night cards are going to be a little rough, the main event pay-per-views and, uh, and just the pay-per-views in general look crazy. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.